Well, as you notice, the front bumper is missing on this car. This is a car that I painted for my wife um, about two years ago using candy tangerine and candy apple red. Now, these are from House of Color. I bought all my products from Coast Airbrush. And um, what I'm going to show you in the video is how to repair the bumper and how to match up all the candy colors. Now, there's a technique that I use that I'll show you in the video. And also, we got to repair the carbon fiber that I airbrushed on. This is not real carbon fiber. I airbrushed it to look like it. And then we got some um, basically concrete tribal designs that I'm going to match up. And I'll show you in the video how to match all this up and make it look like it's never. What I'm going to use now is what's called a nail gun. And I um, actually need to put a nail in it. But uh, what it's going to do is it welds these little studs onto the uh, metal like this weld them to it, and then we have a slide hammer that I pull the dent out with. Now I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this because I want to show the airbrushing, but I will show this also. Put it on there, connect it, pull the trigger. And then basically, this hooks over, slides down. Well, I started sanding a rock chip without the camera on, and I was going to do that because I wanted to show you something. If, let's say for example, you're spotted in the front end in on something that you never painted, and you don't know what the underlayment color is. I know this is candy tangerine, and I say you guys know it also, but what color is it over? Is it over a silver base? Well, when you sand down a layer, you can see I put a gold base under it. I know that that's the base that I have, and that's the base I work with. Now, I know that because I painted it, but if you didn't paint it, you wouldn't know that. Now I'm taking eighth inch blue fine line and I'm masking the graphics off. That way when I spray the candy I'm not going over top of these graphics and having to redo them. They'll already be here. Notice how I'm holding my hand like this rocking my, my fingers. I'll keep this finger planted and that kind of lets me rotate my tape. Now the reason why I put this piece of blue tape there at the end, that is right exactly where the end of this tip ends. That way I know that I'm not cutting out past it. Well as you guys can see in the camera what I just showed you there, this is way too dark. And the reason it is, is I originally sprayed this like three years ago in a candy concentrate, and it's dyed back. That is the right color, that is the correct gold. At first I thought it wasn't when I was spraying that, and then I started looking, and you can see on the edges, candy concentrate will die back, and that's what happened. I should have used a candy base coat. I didn't have any when I did this, and that's what will happen down the road. It will die back, it will fade out. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take my gold mixture that I had right here, I'm going to over reduce it and I'm going to blend it across the hood coming up to the edge of the fender. I'm going to put a piece of paper across the edge of the fender here, blend it right up to it and then maybe dust it right on that edge so I can blend it over. Hopefully I'm not going to have to get into the door. Yeah, I could have said that worked, went ahead and blended this out and I even told you guys that. Hey, it happens to everybody. I've been doing this over 30 years and it just happened. You know, so how do you fix it? Um, that's why I show every mistake in all my videos. If you know, maybe this ain't a mistake. Maybe this is just part of painting. But how do you fix it? You gotta know how to fix it. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna blend that gold back across, put my candy tangerine back across, and blend it back in. But it happens.
see how much better it looks now that it's all blended out. I just blended that gold back across there and then put my candy back on it. You can see it blends right in there nicely. I'm not going to have to get into the um, door now. Well, I got two good solid coats of um, clear on it right now. The reason I do that is because when I mask off these graphics to start spraying down, like where the white comes up against the candy red and the white comes up against the candy tangerine, if you have any a mask that goes onto the candy, it'll bleed through and it'll actually turn that pink. I don't like that look. This is a good, uh, good way for insurance that none of that happens. Plus, it locks the candy down. I'll come in in the morning, sand the hood down with 600. Um, the fenders are done. I'm not going to do anything to those. The bumper, I'll have to line up and line the graphics up. And I'll mask off the fenders. I won't have to do anything to those at all. Line where the um, bumper goes, and then I'm going to line the graphics up um, through that. And again, the reason I do it this way is just so there's no bleed through. And again, it locks the candy down because if you have any problems with your candy now and you start masking on it and scuff it up, it's going to scar it up and you're going to have to go back in and, and redo the candy. And I don't want any chances of that. It's locked down now. Well, as you can see, I got it all masked up. What I did is I sprayed the candy on everything, cleared it, then I came in uh, next day, sanded it with 600, mounted the bumper, and now I've laid the graphics out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match up the gray that's on this uh, stone effect that I have here for this graphic. I'm going to spray the gray down first, and then I'm going to spackle it with white and black, and then I'll go back in and I'll start doing all my cracks and everything, and then I'll bevel it. I'm going to put my tape on this side so I'll put it out here so I know where to cut it. Then you run your line across it. Then stick your fingernail right along that edge so it puts a crease in it so you know where to cut. Alright, we've already tacked it off and I have black in my touch-up gun. I'm going to spray the whole bumper black and spot this black in and then we'll blend it back in. I'm not going to explain too much about doing the carbon fiber because I already got videos out there showing how to do that. I'm going to use this pad up here. It's what's um, called a rug um, pad. It goes for no, uh, underneath the rugs for non-slip and it resembles what I consider to look like carbon fiber. So what I'm going to do, I've got my black base sprayed down, I'm going to lay this over top of it, and once that's on there, I'm going to take a fine metallic silver, spray that back across it, shift it just a little bit, do it one more time. Again, like I say, I have videos already on carbon fiber, so I'm not even going to show this. Well, we got everything spotted in, um, got all the candy done, did the carbon fiber, the stone effect, all the bevel edges, Went back in and shadowed it. Now I've wiped it down with wax and grease remover. Went back over it with a waterborne cleaner and now I'm going to uh, clear coat it. I'm going to put three coats of clear on it. I'm going to let it set for a day. Then I'm going to color sand it and buff it. Next uh, picture you should see.